You can also distort by squeezing something together. Um, if you think about the accordion, you can stretch this guy out, you can squeeze him together. And what is that going to do? Now, that's a, that was actually a little bit more difficult to come up with. But what I ended up doing, or trying anyway, is um, I, pulled to, I pulled together the rib cage because when you look at it, this rib cage looks very open. And so I'm thinking of the accordion, so I squeezed it together. You still got to sort of, you know, you can't squeeze it all the way together because then you'll just have a block. But I made these ribs very close together. And to sort of accentuate that, I took the arm bone and I made it really long. So if you, again, we have an instinctive understanding of our own anatomy, even if we haven't been to school and learned that, hey, this is the humerus. But we do know that, you know, if you start, you know, if you, you know, get to the point where it's like, oh yeah, this looks like a rib cage, so that's the arm bone. And then you say, well, you know, here's the hip bone. First, the ribs are awfully close to the hip bone. So it's kind of uncomfortable, you're kind of all scooched up. And second, this arm bone is like, you know, you're gonna, your arms, if your bone is that long, are gonna be dragging on the floor. So that's the start of an idea. Now, this might not work as a drawing, but if I continued and like made the whole skeleton like that, I could end up with making us look like, you know, this sort of shrunken body on, on top of, I don't know what you'd do with the legs, but then you'd have these arms dragging along on the floor, and it might be kind of something fun to play with. <laughs>